Hello, welcome to Himalayan Chronicles. As you know, Apple has released on 9th of September, 10:30 p.m. India time. They have released the release candidates of iPad OS 18 and also iOS 18. So we are going to check the release candidate. So we have got iPad Air M2, 13-inch model. As you can see, I just went to General and About, and currently it's using iPad OS 17.6.1. Okay. So now I'm going to go to About. And then I'll select developer beta. Though it says developer beta, it is actually release candidate. As you can see, the number, the build number is also a complete numeric number. iPad OS 18, clearly mentioned. So this is the RC version, guys. So it's roughly 6 GB. So it's going to take some time to download. And uh, once it is downloaded, we can turn off developer beta so that when the next version comes up, you will have the final version, the gold master. In fact, release candidate and gold master are one and the same. So release candidate is one week before the public release. It is released to everyone who are having developer beta configuration. And as you can see, it's now downloading. So let's give it some time. So let's hit download. So download has completed almost. It's going to reboot now in a short while. Once or twice, it might reboot the iPad OS. So you'll have iPad OS 18, guys. It has got a lot many features, iPad mirroring, and also so many features, guys. It has got customizable widgets, adjustable control center, and a lot of other bug fixes. So let's have a very high level overview once the reboot completes. As you know, Apple not only released iPad OS 18, but also iOS 18, guys. And also it has released uh, similarly Mac Macintosh, the new version as well, the Mac OS new version which is uh, Sequoia, Sequoia 15.0. So now the reboot has completed, iPad OS 18, as you can see here, the build number is 18. Amazing guys, just amazing. So we are going to see the iPad OS 18 in a short while. Let's explore, as you can see the control center also changed. You can scroll the control center icons, the icons are now translucent, semi-transparent, and you can resize these icons guys. Yes, you can resize the icons. Just uh, hold and hold one of the touchscreen button and you can resize, as you can see, you can resize the icons. You can place over as per your customization, guys. Not only that, it also supports various other features. Here you can also add a new icon, add a new shortcut, okay? And I can also go to uh, new, add a new shortcut to app also. So the performance is also quite good, as you can see, uh, release candidate will have very less number of bugs compared to beta version and in the photos apps also new features guys it has got categories now uh, pets uh, places a lot of categories are available depending on your photos it's getting curated automatically it will create categorization of your existing photo album since I don't have much photos so it has not created but uh, as you can know 18.0 parallelly 18.1 is also getting developed here so right now we only install 18.0 which is uh, iPad OS 18.0 and here you can see the other features as well camera features I'm just taking any changes and also see there's no lag at all when navigating across different menu pages there is no lag at all I really liked it guys amazing I understand M2 is a pretty fast uh, processor but uh, after installing the release candidate I don't see any lags whatsoever amazing guys so I'm going to use it for some time, you know, as a primary thing. And wallpapers also, new wallpapers have come up, as you can see, the iPad OS 18.0 dynamic wallpaper, depending on the date and time of the, I mean, depending on the time of the day, this is going to change, as you can see, dynamically it changes the wallpaper. Amazing, guys. And I can add widgets as well. In the landscape mode, I can add n number of widgets now. Even the performance while navigating to widgets is also quite improved coming compared to the beta version so we have come from 17.6.1 ipad os directly to ipad os 18.0 as you can see i'm able to add n number of widgets here on the left side in the landscape mode and the wallpaper dynamic depending on the time this wallpaper will be changing its gradient level amazing guys just amazing and by the way i also installed the iphone ios 18 on my iPhone 13 Pro. We are going to create another video for that. We will see how it navigates, how the performance and so on. I really like the overall, uh, you know, 
the, the touch and feel of this iPad OS 18 RC version with this candidate. So now I'm going to check the other features. So let's enjoy the dynamic wallpapers as well. And also the battery. We will see how the battery is also, you know, getting optimized with the iPad OS 18. Battery also get optimized, guys. So currently I have this new iPad Air M2 13 inch on which we have installed the release candidate. And I'm just changing the wallpapers, just you know, trying to see all the different settings available, guys. Performance is amazing. I really like the performance. Very, very fluid performance, guys. So I can add and also change the tint of the icons from dark to light. And as well as I can change the tint. As you can see, all blue, purple, red, green, and so on. A lot of customization options are available. And if you see compared to the beta version, I see a lot of performance improvement. Since it is nearing to the public release, most probably next week. So because of that, you know, most of the release candidate editions are always bug free. Maybe one or two bugs, but it's not showing up when we are testing it. And there is no screen lag whatsoever. I have not seen any screen lags as of now. I can also increase the size of the thing as well, size of the icons. So as you can see, I'm also able to change the icon size to small and large. In the large also, I can change the color and the tinted icons. A lot of customization options are available. And uh, every application, most of the application, they have got a new splash screen. For example, if I open notes, I get to welcome to notes splash screen. Let me show you that in a short while. I'm now going to open the notes section. What's new in notes? So new features, the writing options are clearly mentioned. If you have a stylus along with your iPad Air M2, you can definitely use Apple Pencil to scribble on the notes as well. So a lot of new features are coming up. We will try to navigate and we will try to understand what are the new features. I hope you only use beta versions of uh, iPad OS 18 in the earlier builds. Slowly the features were getting added into the release. Now this is the release candidate. Almost all the features have been logged now. So any remaining bugs will be cleared and will be released for the public review. Very soon public release. I anticipate about 16th of September or maybe early to it. The performance is also quite good. I'm navigating on various screens. Quite good performance guys, amazing. File section and let me show you some of the other features in the control center where I can customize to add a particular new application shortcut. There's also a new feature of 18. I click and click on, uh, you know, add an application and then just select the shortcut pointing to a particular application. So as you can see here, I can add additional stuff. So here I can select Facebook, for example, or I can maybe select any of the application to be linked to this application icon, the control center. When I click on that, it's going to open on the Facebook directly. If you already logged in, then you'll be greeted to the Facebook homepage. Similarly, there are so many features available as mentioned in the keynotes. iPad OS 18 has considerable changes, especially the way you navigate, the way you perform, and the performance in the battery as well. So let's see the battery settings now on what level the battery has been optimized. So when you go to about uh, to the battery, as you can see, it's clearly mentioned iPad is still calibrating the battery. Some background setup tasks have been going on. So after the calibration is done, you will come to know the exact battery health. Currently, cycle count is only 7 since it's a new iPad Air 13 inch model. The maximum capacity is 100%. Overall, I really like the performance of the iPad OS. And this is how you can easily get the release candidate right now, today itself, by going to developer beta and then, uh, you know, select the iPad OS 18.0. Very nice uh, performance guys, no lag at all. New wallpapers. And you can customize the wallpapers as well. Apple intelligence is not yet included in the 18.0, but parallelly, iPad OS 18.1 is also being in progress. Currently it's in beta 3. So once it is released, definitely you can have Apple intelligence as well. To know more about Apple intelligence, we have created another video for 18.1 Apple intelligence features. You can, I'll, I'll put the link in the description or on the top. And here you can see the dynamic wallpapers. So many wallpapers are available from the native iPad 
OS 18. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoy this beautiful video.